Happy New Year, Providence Mission family. Seth Teigen, Chief Executive, checking in with all of you at the start of 2023. And what a great year 2023 is going to be for us. Of course, our tagline this year uh, and for many years to come is our history is rich, our future is bright. However, 2022, looking back, had some incredible challenges. And I want to reflect with all of you about the amazing work that our caregivers and physicians have done, the amazing community support we've had, uh, but most notably, walking in the footsteps of our sisters of St. Joseph and our sisters of Providence, reflecting on how lucky we are to get to do this work every day. So I'd like to give you my top 10 list for 2022. These are the top 10 moments for Providence Mission Hospital. Number one. $712 million expansion project approved for our community and for this campus. This is probably one of the most exciting times in our history. We are so grateful for the support, not only of our community, but the health system. And we know philanthropy is gonna play a huge role as we build out the next iteration of the Mission Viejo campus. Number two, magnet redesignation and many successful accreditations, reviews, and surveys. Of course, a really big shout out to the nursing organization, the magnet journey is one that takes years. We are in rarefied air with only a handful of hospitals across the country that have been reaccredited for a third time. Number three, Newsweek distinction as the number one hospital in Orange County. This is one of our, of course, flagship items that we talk about all the time. We're so proud of our caregivers, our quality and safety initiatives, our patient experience, all the things that make Mission Hospital a great place to receive care. Number four, National rankings from U.S. News and World Report. Number 34 in our orthopedic program in the country. Number eight in the entire state of California. Number 38 for our rehab program or our acute rehab unit in the nation. Number four in the state. These are just a snapshot of a couple of our flagship programs here at the hospital, keeping all of you safe and helping you recover and get home quickly. Number five, launch of our Caregiver Experience Council to include quality, safety, patient experience, and financial performance. You've probably heard that recipe as I call it before. Remember, wrapped inside that recipe is caregiver and caregiver engagement. They drive the quality and safety and the patient experience of this organization. We're so proud that they're also on the front lines leading this work. Number six, establish the Walter A. Craig Center for Palliative Care. We were so blessed to have a wonderful community donor come forward in honor of a family member, Walter A. Craig, to start this amazing program that is reaching out to patients that are in our hospital and in the community in a very different way, helping them deal with this transition in their life. Number seven, supported record patient volumes in surgery, the emergency department, our trauma program, our critical care units, and most of our medical surgical units, and made many significant improvements in patient throughput from the emergency department into the inpatient units. I would tell you this is our biggest body of work that we continue to look at in 2023 as we're dealing with increasing volumes and trying to meet the expectations of our patients. Number eight, raised $1.6 million at the Golden 50th Anniversary Gala and more than $10 million for the full year. We are so blessed to have this philanthropic community that supports our hospital, allows us not only to procure pieces of equipment and build buildings, but to do the extra special things for our caregivers that help build our culture and help our people want to come through the doors of Mission Hospital every day. Number nine, invested approximately $15 million in clinical excellence, technology, and facilities to improve patient care. We are, again, so lucky to have these pieces of equipment that help us recruit and retain not only the top physicians from around the country, but also draw patients to us, recognizing that we're providing the highest level of care comparable to an academic medical center, but doing that in a faith-based community hospital setting. And lastly, number 10, devoted more than $80 million to support the greatest community health priorities. Part of who we are and what makes us special is our commitment to the poor and vulnerable in this community. We are so proud of the team that we have out there. Uh, we have over 20 caregivers that work out in the community, helping the poor and the vulnerable navigate not only healthcare inequities, but housing inequities, food inequities, and all the other things that the sisters have really charged us with to live out the mission, vision, and values of Providence Health System every day. And last, but definitely not least, we wanna celebrate our mission family. A big shout out to our volunteers and our auxiliary. Uh, we can't imagine running this place without them holding hands with our patients and our caregivers every day, shepherding folks through what can be a pretty complicated building to navigate, but also greeting people with a warm smile when they come through the door. 
family. We have over 2,700 caregivers here at the hospital, over 850 providers on the medical staff. We're so blessed to have our caregivers, physicians, auxiliary, and also our volunteers working together. Hoping that you have a blessed, safe, and wonderful 2023. Our history is rich, our future is bright. We'll talk soon.